Hi, this is ISOP Town Supervisor Angie Carpenter. We've been at this now since March 12th of 2020 when, as the Town Supervisor, I declared a state of emergency. Unfortunately, we're still in the middle of this emergency. And so many people out there have been so extraordinarily helpful. They've gotten the message about social distancing. It's not easy. We're a touchy-feely kind of people. We want to hug one another. We want to be there to shake hands. We want to show our affection for one another. But this is not the time. We really have to maintain social distancing. And the governor of the state of New York has made the guidelines abundantly clear. He is asking everyone to keep the social distancing and has gone so far as to increase the fines for those who violate it to $1,000. Now, we're not interested in ticketing people and writing summonses and, and pulling in fines, but we need to do what we need to do. And we are there hand in hand with the Suffolk County Police Department I want to thank Commissioner Jerry Hart and the Chief of Department, Stu Cameron, who have been on the front lines. And Stu took a moment from his busy, busy schedule to tape this little video for us to let you know how important it is to maintain social distancing. I thank you for all you're doing, and together we will get through this just six feet apart. Thank you. I'm Stu Cameron, Chief of the Suffolk County Police Department. The current pandemic is unlike anything that I've ever seen in my 35-year career, obviously, but it, it has engaged the entire county government to protect the citizens of Suffolk County, but it's gone beyond that. The county government is working closer than ever with town and village governments. Uh, there's daily conference calls that I've been on for several months now to coordinate the activities. The Suffolk County Police Department, just like county government, is working very closely with our associated law enforcement agencies in Suffolk County and all of our public safety agencies, including town code enforcement, like the code enforcement agency in the town of Islip. And I realize the uh, complying with the New York pause orders is difficult for many folks. It's difficult to stay in your house, to avoid social contact, but uh, that's going to become increasingly difficult as the weather gets nicer and nicer. But I, I can assure you that the police departments and the code enforcements are working together to prevent people from being injured by this virus. It can be extremely serious for some people. People with pre-existing health conditions, people that are older, can be very much affected, severely affected by this virus. And we're seeing a large number of county citizens die as a result. So I implore you to obey the New York pause. The police department and the county code enforcement, the town code enforcement agencies, have had good success so far requesting voluntary compliance, educating people about the New York pause regulations, social distancing. But as people become more non-compliant, I'm afraid that we're going to have to move into an enforcement phase, and that's really the last thing that we want to do. We do not want to move into an enforcement phase. So once again, I implore you to obey the New York pause regulations for a brief period more. We are flattening the curve. Things are getting better. You've seen Governor Cuomo on TV speaking about this. Things are getting better because everyone is complying. People will be reading about this time in the history books as the pandemic of 2020. And you want to look back upon it and know that you've done your part to help keep people safe. Thank you.